Hello there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 6 of my 31 days of Halloween and I am posting every single day of October so make sure you go and check out my shorts that I have posted so far. Today's video is this jigsaw inspired makeup look tutorial. This turned out so well in my opinion and I'm very happy with the results. Apart from maybe the bow tie but I'm not very used to painting my neck so I'm not going to beat myself up about that one too much. So you can see that I've already done my brows and I'm moving straight onto the base now using the Snazaroo White Face Paint Compact and my Makeup Revolution Contour Brush. I will leave a list of all the products I use down in the description. Uh, I have wetted the brush and I put that straight onto the paint and then I begin layering that onto my face. As you can see it did take quite a few layers to build up the colour and even then it was quite patchy but ultimately I decided that this added to the creepy horror vibes and then I just went in with some powder and that was to set the face paint and make it less smudgy. I'm not gonna lie, I had already tried to do several Halloween makeup looks and tutorials by now on this day and none of them had gone to plan and I was a little bit getting to the end of my tether so even though this base is a little bit not completely solid and a little bit patchy like I say in the end I think it did end up adding to the overall look but anyway here we are moving on to the eyeshadow I've picked up a black color or an almost black color on a medium fluffy morphe brush and I'm just running that through my crease and around the outside of my eyelid starting to create that shape that I want and making it nice and smoky so again here I'm just building up that colour on the eyes until I am happy with the colour payoff. I really like the way that the eyeshadow blends with the face paint, it looks really old and faded and messy. I also take the same colour under the eyes and I join it up with the eyeshadow above the eyes just to pull the whole eye look together as well. Once I have all the black down and it's nice and dark and where I want it to be, I go in with a slightly thicker, fluffier brush and I have this dark reddy brownie colour and then I'm just sweeping that all around the outside of where that black shadow is to blend it into the face paint a little bit more, make it look a little bit less harsh but also it makes it look a little bit dirty as well which is nice and creepy. I'm then using the same flat brush that I had used to put the colour under my eyes with a very small amount of the black colour and dragging it down the sides of my nose and blending it out with a very thick brush and that's creating a very sharp nose contour. For this I just kept going in with the same two brushes, the flat brush and then the denser blending brush until I had created the nose contour that I was happy with. Apologies that the quality of this voiceover seems to be a little bit all over the place although I did get a new mic specifically for my voiceovers and it was actually free because the Amazon man put my package in our food bin and it was really gross. Anyway it's not great so if anyone has any recommendations for any mics leave them down in the comments I would be very grateful. So here we are at probably the most iconic feature of Jigsaw himself and it is the red swells on the cheeks. So I am actually using a nail brush here as part of a nail brush set and I'm also using the bright red Snazaroo compact and I drew this straight onto the cheek. If you want you can practice your swells on a piece of paper on your arm. I do that quite a lot and it's really helpful because once you put the colour down, especially a bright red like this, you risk messing up your base as well. So once I have done that swell and I'm happy with it, I just go in with the same brush and the same colour and I just tidy it up, thicken it up where it needs to, shape it how I want it. And it's also really important that you check in the mirror in front of you and check against each side to make sure that they're not necessarily symmetrical, but they're looking similar and they look sort of good together. I think with a look like this, unless you're some kind of master swell drawer, you're always going to have one side that looks better than the other, but like I say, as long as they look similar and you're happy with how it turns out, then that's absolutely fine. Um, I can tell you that this side was a little bit more messy than the other side, but I'm still very happy with how everything all looked together and it tied in so well, so in the end, that's all that really matters. 
The last step in this tutorial is going to be the lips. Like I say, I'm not entirely happy with how the bow turned out, so I'm not going to include it in this tutorial. If anyone wants to see that, I could potentially put a short together, so let me know down in the comments if you want me to do that. Other than that, I just really copied a cartoon picture of a bow tie from a Google image search. So the lips, I just used a slightly thicker medium face painting brush and that same red color which is the bright red snazaroo compact again and i just put that across the lips and then i carried on going and adding until i had the shape that i was happy with and then on a fine face paint brush i just took the snazaroo black and i created these two lines down from either side of my lips to the bottom of my chin if you wanted to you could go in with a very fine flat eyeshadow brush and just blend a little bit of black eyeshadow down the bottom there but really guys that is it i just put on a pair of lashes off camera and also some red contacts if you know ahead of time that you're gonna do this unlike me you can always go on amazon or somewhere like that and get yourself a bow tie instead of having to draw one on but overall i really love how this look turned out and thank you all so much if you've got this far i really appreciate it like and subscribe there's going to be many more halloween makeup tutorials thanks again guys bye bye